All right, hey there, hi there, ho there. Welcome back. I have been gone and welcome to my book of queer. I have not finished this. I am so sorry. The last time I picked this up was probably like six months ago and like I think you can kind of see it in the in the video but you can kind of see like Bob. I added him in there a while ago and I don't really post it but it's a solid drawing. Uh, but I haven't done anything for Pride Month and I felt like wow I'm been not doing stuff and I uh, couldn't think of what to do. So I pulled out my sketchbook and, or another sketchbook that's bigger so I could do some thumbnails. And so I didn't just do like, oh, they're dancing in the air. Oh, they're dancing. Oh, they're leaning on each other. I, or they're, oh, they're holding hands. That is a thing that I do on like 90% of my couple drawings because I am so bad at trying to figure out how bodies work together and it's difficult and even in this I did not like I liked the one of the drawings but I ended up redoing it and you'll see that later in this so um that's that's a whole thing uh before I get into what I'm really drawing though and uh I think for the most part that's all the like basic stuff that you're gonna need to know about what I'm doing uh I and again, I have- I'm sorry I've been gone. I- <laughs> I don't really have too much of an excuse. Uh, I have just been tired and I haven't been able to see certain people for a while and since all of the people that I would normally hang out with are vaccinated now, I've been spending a lot of time with them. I've been spending a lot of time seeing people that I've missed dearly for freaking two years. I've been spending a lot of time with like uh, my roommates and all that jazz and uh, playing some games and kind of just taking some me time. And I know it's been like a month of me time, but I also, every time I sat down to try and sketch something, there wasn't anything that happened that I liked that I was proud of or at least like happy enough to be like oh let's do let's do a let's do a speed paint uh, <laughs> and I just I don't know I just haven't really drawn anything that I really really wanted to post I mean I've been doodling I've been sketching stuff and I have on like off and on been working on adventures out there but then I got distracted it's a problem with me where I have ideas I'll listen to a song and I'm like Ooh, what if I do that Ooh, what if I do that Ooh, what if I do that and I have like music video ideas all up in my head I'll listen to a song I'm like "Ooh, that's a good song I should do it for that Ooh, let's do that and it's a lot of like hyper fixation and I've been playing Kingdom Hearts again and I really <laughs> my last drawing was on Kingdom Hearts and I still really freaking love Kingdom Hearts I uh finally have a couple of friends who are willing to at least cosplay Kingdom Hearts with me so finally I can live my childhood dream of being Sora like god I don't know I, there's, there's some dream cosplays guys and Sora is one of them and I know that like mm, I think like the one that I would have wanted to do probably back then would have been like one of final one of Sora's final forms and his like drive forms but now I want to do just straight up Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora because he's just got such a special place in my heart like let that boy be happy let him have a happy ending oh my god uh so that's a thing and yeah uh last year uh i i'll just like sh shortly describe this sketchbook uh i i think i have like a video somewhere on my youtube i'll link it at the end <laughs> but it's a book of queer and the idea of it has been to try and fill it entirely with uh queer relationships queer people like i have all sorts of people I try to include in here and there's some drawings in here that I really really freaking love and then there's others that I'm like eh, it's not like great but you know I'll keep it in here because I want to fill this whole thing up so uh, potentially if you guys have any suggestions for who to add to this sketchbook that I might not have added please let me know if um, if I can fill this it would be really great because I would love to have this done by game on next year which it that is happening potentially I don't know I haven't gotten word back but uh, that would be happening like next year in like September so like 2022 hopefully we'll all still be alive <laughs> um, 
and like I got this from a super homophobic aunt who's also transphobic and kind of a she's kind of awful and I'm one of her least favorites so I thought the best way to spite her is to fill up the entire thing with the gays <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, also, I know that using the weird queer can be, like, for for people it's not used, or people don't like the word queer. For me, this is just for me, I personally like using it. It's, uh, I, I feel like it's easier for me to say because I, I often cannot say LGBTQIA+, in, like, a way that feels natural, and for me it covers a little bit more for me and I understand why different people do not want to use it um, if you want to talk about it in the comments that's cool too we like I'm open for discussion and stuff just keep it polite I guess uh, I know tone gets lost on the internet when it's just text so I'll try my best to be impartial too and yeah <laughs> I just, I don't know, Pride is a weird month for me because after like a year or two, like, I got tired of being um, a certain way. Hey, uh, editing Chach here. Just wanted to hop in really quick and just clarify when I say uh, not be a certain way. It's most, it, it is entirely, I don't want to be a selling point uh, when it comes to merchandise for things. I'm glad that there's a lot of stuff in stores, but a lot of it is just slap a rainbow on it. That's gay. You're celebrating pride. Don't want to get super into it. <laughs> still queer, still demi, uh, still gender fluid, and be, you know, I like they, them pronouns. Okay. Okay, back to the video. This keeps on getting fucking longer and longer. And yeah, I don't know. I, I am proud to be who I am and like, but I'm also not fully out, I guess. I'm like, I'm very open on the internet about me being like non-binary and uh, demisexual and stuff like that. I'm pretty open about demisexual, like being demisexual. That's like a thing that I think a lot of people tend to just accept because they assume like, oh, of course you're gonna be friends. You're, that's what a relationship's built on. And it's just like, I mean, kind of, <laughs> it's for, for me personally. And I mean, like it, it, it depends on different people, but um, I, my personal sexuality lies in that, like I don't really form a romantic attraction to a person unless I am already like platonically in love with them i guess like they 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 need to be like close to me emotionally first before i even consider like oh wow what if we were like dating <laughs> that's that's a thing and like as a whole i just prefer they them pronouns um i don't mind she her and i don't mind he him in fact it's kind of fun um i enjoy use being called sir by accident and it's there's been a couple times and i'm just like yeah no this it's cool don't worry about it it's just my voice tends to give it away immediately and then lately my hair has been way too long because i haven't gotten it cut since before uh pandemic so that's a thing <laughs> but i don't know pride month i was actually kind of looking forward to this year kind of um, for the potential of being able to, like, go to Pride and go to Pride parades and stuff, but I haven't because it's still kind of iffy. Um, I know that the CDC has been a little bit like, yeah, you can go if ever, if you're around vaccinated people and that's fine. I have, but like a lot of people aren't vaccinated and I don't know who's been vaccinated. Arizona was like, yeah, you're, we're the peak, but it's like, it's plateaued. Like, there, there's solidly, like, a huge number of people who are refusing to get vaccinated, and it's frustrating. And, like, I, I'd understand if you have, like, a medical condition that doesn't allow you to, because, like, that's that's your life that is in danger. But it's, it's the whole getting vaccinated for, you get vaccinated not just for yourself, but for everybody else, just so that we have herd immunity and to protect people who have weaker immune systems and can't get the vaccine. And, like, right now you can get it for free it's 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 it sucks that like uh, for a lot of people it knocks them out for a day or two but like it it knocks down the like the symptoms to like something that is more likely to be survivable and it, it's i i shouldn't get on that i really shouldn't <laughs> arizona is a wild ride um 
but uh let's get into the drawing <laughs> like 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 what later uh i yeah i i really like harley and ivy i've been following the harley quinn comics for a couple years it's not like a series that i'm like super into but i do have a couple of her comics and i do enjoy them when i get the chance to read them and i've always really liked the relationship between her and ivy i love harley quinn uh, the animated series. It's, I think it's really well done. I think um, my the way that I like to describe it is it's what Teen Titans Go wants to be, but like also for adults. It like aged in a way so that the people who watch Teen Titans growing up can enjoy Harley Quinn and kind of see it as like an like not. I mean, like obviously it's not going to be the natural next thing because we don't have. Ro uh, Robin, Starfire, Raven, Cyborg, and Beast Boy, but we have, like, uh, we can at least get, like, this parody that's also, like, serious. Like, Harley is such a good character in Harley Quinn. Um, they don't ever forget that she's a doctor. They hammer home that, like, the Joker's relationship with her was abusive. But they also have a really interesting dynamic in the second season. And, like, I actually really, really enjoyed that part. Like, I hate the Joker. But in specifically Harley Quinn in the Lego Batman movie, I kind of grow to like him. In Harley Quinn, I hate him at first, and then I like him. And, like, I think that's kind of what they were a little going for. He's not, he's not, like, my favorite character, and I don't forgive any of the things that he's done. Because, I mean, it's also not me. I mean, I guess she is, like, a fictional character. But, like, the things that he's done has been pretty atrocious, especially to Harley specifically. Especially doing the thing to Ivy in the beginning, at the end of season one. Like, that was fucked but um the way that they fought back to back in season two was probably one of my favorite moments and I like the idea of the two of them have if they were just friends the entire time there was no romantic moments there was no like any any of that I would have really loved that it would have been I think a stronger thing and like I kind of love how in Lego Batman like joker calls her girl buddy not like i mean like she has all these nicknames and it's cute and stuff but like she call he calls him she, he calls her girl buddy and it's like they're not dating question mark i'm i'm happy i'm very happy with this because of like all the um queer coding with good joker in that movie and by the way i am very late to that party i only just watched it about a week ago and boy howdy am i just am i just really into that series <laughs> Uh, I really, I unironically love Bruce Wayne like this. Oh my god, I love petulant man baby Bruce Wayne. I love campy Robin. I love, I, I did watch a lot of uh, Batman Brave and the Bold. And I just, I loved, I loved Batman in Harley Quinn too. Like he's a spiteful little shithead and I love him. And then like Alfred is so well done. And if you ever get the chance to watch Harley Quinn, um, please watch it. Uh, if you're a kid, don't watch it yet. It's definitely for adults. It's got a lot of like, it's it's a little bit much. Um, but if you're an adult and you like you like DC or you liked Teen Titans growing up, I think it's a it's a solid show to watch. Plus, like they made Harley and Ivy canon. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll put it in the like description or just like uh, the title. So you know that's a thing. But uh, yeah. I have about three minutes that I can still feel cool. I haven't talked off your ear yet. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's good. I, I also really, really freaking love the Lego Batman movie. I hate how much I love it. It's so good, though. <laughs> like, I, I kind of love... I kind of love Batman that much more. Like, I... I like Batman Beyond and Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. It's okay, but like, I don't know. I wasn't super attached and uh, <laughs> Dark Knight Rises was weird because at the same time Iron Man was out and I think they solved the end of, I don't know, it was, it was either Iron Man or Avengers. Like Iron Man took, takes like a nuclear bomb into the middle of space in one 
and Bruce does the same thing and it was like the same summer and that was all I could focus on and it's just like you know that's that why is that a trope why is it the rich boy carries the nuke bomb into space wormhole <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, that's all I could focus on that, that summer and I don't know I like I like Tony Stark but I do think that like the take on Bruce in like both the Lego Batman movie and uh, Harley Quinn are different from what you kind of expect from uh, it, it's different it's like they're still rich boy playboys but they're slightly different and they're different in a way that is like uh, I get <sighs> no I don't know I can't come up with a good comparison for Tony, but for Bruce, he's like Kaiba. He's like Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. He's a rich boy with a lot of money and uses his, his toys to um, do whatever the fuck he wants with the city. Let that sink in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're getting to the end of this. I like how it turned out. I actually do like how this drawing turned out. It was very- it turned out pretty cute and, um, I just- yeah, I think I had a little bit of shading and a little bit of, um, other little bits. So, I- I'm gonna call it here and, uh, I'll let this video finish out with just some music. But I hope you enjoy this and I will be back with, um, some more stuff. I'm gonna go work on adventures out there so I can get another clip out at least before the month ends. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'm glad that you stick around. If you haven't, that's okay. Appreciate it if you just clicked on this video and uh, leave a comment below and like uh, request or add like for, some, for people that I should add to my sketchbook. Um, yeah. All right. Uh,